This page was created to teach black history. Unfortunately, the American educational system was designed to exclude our real historical account. So we are here to dismantle it. It's time to enlighten those of us who have been kept in the dark. I am a black man who didn't know enough about my own history. So I began to dig deeper and do my own research. Black history is American history. So I want people of all races and cultures to join together to learn our history as one. Here, I will share all of my findings. Please like, follow, share, and subscribe to Teaching Black History. The story of Dr. Patricia Era Bath. Born in 1942 in Harlem, New York, Patricia was the daughter of Rupert and Gladys Bath. Her father was an immigrant from Trinidad, a newspaper columnist, a merchant seaman, and the first black man to work for the New York City subway as a motorman. Her father inspired her love for culture and encouraged her to explore different cultures. Her mother was a descendant from African slaves and Cherokee Native Americans. Throughout her childhood, Bath was often told by her parents to never settle for less than her best and had been encouraged by their support of her education. Her mother encouraging her dreams and love of science had brought her first chemistry set by the time she had reached high school. Bath was already a National Science Foundation scholar. This led to her cancer research, earning a front page feature in the New York Times. Patricia and her brother attended Charles Evans Hughes High School, where both students excelled in science and math. Inspired by Albert Schwarzer's work in medicine, Bath applied for the and won a National Science Foundation scholarship while attending high school. This led her to a research project at Yes Haven University and Harlem Hospital Center, studying connections between cancer, nutrition, and stress. Bath had studied the effects of streptomycin residue on bacteria. Through this, she was able to conclude that cancer itself was a disease and tumor growth was a symptom. She had also discovered a mathematical equation that could be used to predict cancer cell growth. The head of the research program realized the significance of her findings and published them in a scientific paper. Bath received her Bachelor's of Art in Chemistry from Manhattan's Hunter College in 1964. She then relocated to Washington, D.C. to attend Howard University Medicine. She co-founded the Student National Medical Association and became its first woman president in 1965. At Howard, she was awarded a Children's Bureau National Government Fellowship Award to do research in Belgrade, Yugoslavia in the summer of 1967 where her research focused on pediatric surgery. Bath graduated with honors from Howard University College of Medicine in 1968. The assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. in 1968 caused Bath to dedicate herself to achievement one of the dreams of King, namely the empowerment of people through the Poor People's Campaign. She organized and led Howard University medical students and providing volunteer health care services to the Poor People's Campaign in Resurrection City in the summer of 1968. Prior to beginning her ophthalmology residency study at NYU in 1970, she was awarded a one-year fellowship from Columbia University to study and contribute to eye care services at Harlem Hospital. She began to collect data on blindness and visual impairment at Harlem Hospital, which did not have any ophthalmologists on staff. Her data and passion for improvement persuaded her professors from Columbia to begin operating on blind patients 
without charge at Harlem Hospital Center. Bath was proud to be on the Columbia team that performed the first eye surgery at Harlem Hospital in November 1969. She served her residency in ophthalmology at New York University from 1970 to 1973, the first African American to do so. She got married and had a daughter, Erica, in 1972. She was appointed Assistant Chief of the King Drew UCLA Ophthalmology Residency Program in 1974 and was appointed Chief in 1983. At both institutions, she rose to the rank of Associate Professor. At UCLA, she founded the Ophthalmotic Assistant Training Program in 1978. While at UCLA Jules Stein Eye Institute, she established a program to provide advanced surgical treatment for blind patients. The program continues today as the KPRO and thousands of patients have had their eyesight restored with this innovative technology. In 1983, Bath was appointed chair of the King Drew UCLA Ophthalmology Residence Program, becoming the first woman in the U.S. to head an ophthalmology residency program. In 1993, she retired from UCLA, which subsequently elected her the first woman on this honorary staff. Based on her observations at Harlem Hospital, Bath published the first scientific paper showing the higher prevalence of blindness among blacks. Bath also found that African American people had eight times higher prevalence of glaucoma as a cause of blindness. Based on her research, she pioneered the worldwide discipline of community ophthalmology in 1976 after observations of epidemics rates of preventable blindness among underserved populations in urban areas in the U.S. as well as underserved populations in third world countries. Bath's main humanitarian efforts can be seen through her work at the American Institute for the Prevention of Blindness. Founded in 1976, this organization had been created on the principle that eyesight was a basic human right. Through this organization, Bath was able to spread eye care throughout the globe by providing newborns with free eye drops, vitamins, and vaccinations against diseases that can cause blindness. Bath was also recognized for her philanthropic work in the field of ophthalmology by the President Barack Obama in 2009, she was on stage with President Obama and was put on his commission for digital accessibility to blind children. In April 2019, Bath testified in a hearing called The Trailblazers and Lost Einsteins, Women Inventors and the Future of American Innovation. Here, Bath showed the gender discrepancies in the STEM field and lack of female inventors. Bath coined the term laser focal for the process, short for laser photo ablative cataract surgery, and developed the laser focal probe, a medical device that improves on the use of lasers to remove cataracts and for removing cataract lenses. Bath first had the idea for this type of device in 1981, but did not apply for a patent until several years later. The device was completed in 1986 after Bath conducted research on lasers in Berlin and patented in 1988, making her the first African-American woman to receive a patent for a medical purpose. The device, which quickly and nearly painlessly dissolves the cataract with the laser, irrigates and cleans the eye and permits the easy insertion of a new lens, is used internationally to treat the disease. Bath has continued to improve the device and has successfully restored vision to people who have been unable to see for decades. Bath holds five patents in the United States, 
Three of Bass' five patents relate to the lipocycle probe. In 2000, she was granted a patent for a method for using pulsate ultrasound to remove cataracts, and in 2003, a patent for combining laser and ultrasound to remove cataracts. Bath died on May 30th, 2019, at a University of California San Francisco Medical Center from cancer-related complications at the age of 76.